It is 844 in this morning's Just Ask John. It's a question a lot of El Pasoans have been asking in recent months. Why are local street medians filling up with so many weeds and so much trash? Spring's arrival has only made the problem more apparent. I learned that a dispute between the city of El Paso and the Texas Department of Transportation created the issue. But getting answers about when it'll be solved and who will do it proved much more difficult to weed out. You get out of school, you go pick up your children and you see this mess. Lori Lopez says she first noticed the weeds filling up the medians along Dyer near her northeast El Paso home last February. I contacted this 311 number. I let them know about it. Um, nothing was done. I called back again, mentioned it again. I was told that it belonged to TechStock. So I called TechStock. Um, they told me that they gave it to the city four years ago. So that's where I've been since February. After weeks of getting the runaround, Lori finally learned what was going on from the office of District 2 City Representative Alexandra Anello. The city of El Paso's haggling with TxDOT over who's responsible for maintaining the medians on city streets that are also state highways. And they're among the city's busiest streets, Dyer, Mesa, Montana, Alameda, and North Loop. The state recently decided to stop doing landscaping maintenance on their roadways. Uh, based on their interpretation of a 2008 street maintenance agreement and is attempting to hand over that responsibility to the city of El Paso without our consent. Now city leaders are scrambling to find a way to pay for pulling the weeds from all the affected medians, which could be a multi-million dollar project. City manager Tommy Gonzalez offered his take on the issue at a recent legislative review meeting at City Hall. I mean, this would be tantamount to us saying we're not taking care of the parks anymore. You know, even though that's our responsibility. But TxDOT's top engineer for the El Paso district, Bob Bilek, disputes Gonzalez's assertion, saying the city's always had the ultimate responsibility for median maintenance, though the state has handled the job for years. What's happened recently is that we have a 50-year-old uh, interstate highway out here. Uh, the cost of fixing the potholes, fixing the, uh, uh, the bridge joints, uh, just putting marking on the pavement has gotten to the point where I just don't have the budget or the manpower to help the city out. Bilek thinks he can secure around $300,000 to help out the city of El Paso with median maintenance until the city's new fiscal year starts September 1st. What we've asked the city to do is tell us which, what's your priority? Where do you want us to spend that money? Because when the money's spent, that money's gone. City leaders are now weeding through all the medians in need of work to determine their priorities, although the state funding's not even guaranteed yet. They're also trying to figure out how to pick up the tab for median maintenance when the new fiscal year arrives, a tab estimated at $2 million annually. It's still a project in progress. That's why the discussions continue until we find a viable solution for both of us. Do you now have, do you think for the next fiscal year, do you have the money in place? We uh, are barely beginning the conversations about budget with, you know, internally and then we will have the conversation with council. Our new budget will, you know, uh, will has lots of priorities. But the weeds are still there. And they keep growing, while a solution to this problem may still be weeks or months away. El Paso City Council did discuss the weeds issue just yesterday at City Hall, vowing to author voting to authorize the city manager to renegotiate its media management contract with TxDOT and to start the process of taking over the job next fiscal year. Now you may wonder, why can't volunteers come in and clean the weeds and trash out of the medians through a program like Adopt a Highway? On Thursday morning, I'll let you know why that answer's complicated. 848 now, new this morning. The field of Democrats.